Hey guys, it's Mad Matt Wankel here. Welcome to another episode of Mad Matt's Minecraft. It is March 3rd here in the future, and uh, we're going to do some train craft stuff. So, here's some recipes. Uh, first, for the advanced rail, that's gold and standard rail, standard rail. Bam, I totally use the fact, not that recipe. I use this recipe for tungsten because I can totally melt tungsten. So we need to make boarding tracks. I'd like to just make two, but 16 is how many we have to make. And then over here, we're going to make booster tracks, uh, which is no longer the uh, gold and whatever recipe uh, because Railcraft changed it. Uh, but yeah, I think I have enough. And I already went and finished making up my track. Uh, Dignity was kind enough to uh, work out a nether hub for us. Um, I suppose we'll review for going. I don't have any cards on me. Um, which makes this kind of awkward to, like, test. Um, I can do this, though. I've got enough iron, so let's drop that down. And crafting table. Throw that into the floor. It's a bit too far into the floor. Um, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I need to make, like, an axe or something. Ah, oh, dang it! I'm not entirely prepared. I need standard rail. Standard rail! No! I need dander track. Uh, for the design that I'm doing. So now, we get to come and look and see if we have any standard tracks somewhere. I want to see it's in this one. There. We'll grab those in case we need to make one. It's a ladder that I almost grabbed for it. Is this the end? No. Okay then. Uh, that's pretty much all the chests. So, um, we need buckets. Uh, with Traincraft and doing multiple buckets on uh, that, it's been having issues for me with uh, making sure that they're in... that they exist. So that's always annoying. Um, okay, we got ourselves some rail bed. Let's find us a crafting table-y thing. 32. It's way more than I need. Like, seriously. That's a lot. I don't need that much. Uh, actually, this chest. <sighs> I'll probably find a bunch of track too later. Oh, button, button, button. Who's got a button? I got a button. Bam. <coughs> Sorry for all like coughing and sneezing and stuff. These videos that I'm doing here this month are deter. I'm, I want them to be um, no rotating stuff. Uh, single file videos. Um, this is a boarding track. Uh, if I set this right here, maybe I was informed that, that would be enough. Um. Not enough. Oh, because that's unpowered. Duh. Um, I now need some cobblestone. Luckily, I have some. I love my ender pouch. <laughs> so the reason we have the track uh, broken off the a unpowered track right there. So that for this we can um look we're moving we're not too far um yeah Aha. stops right there anyway yeah otherwise it would be on all the time if we had it uh um connected so we don't and it isn't annoying to work with here. I ought to have enough rail. 
hope I do. It's kind of expensive. It's the wrong way. Uh, yep, the power went off on these, so I'll need another lever. Luckily, I have a couple more. So, yeah, I'm all wrapped up in cobble. I hope these things turn. Oh, these things don't turn. That's kind of good to know. Oh, well, I've got that. Um, I will come down here to the, the middle somewhere. Bam. Um, there, now we're out of levers. Just fly up here real quick. I have to do some stuff up here too. Um, oh good, I need another button. I think I'd like to go right here and then right here. Then I don't know how to power that one. Um, well, that would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Bam. So, now we can place our minecart here and go like this. I need to widen this corridor a little bit. Now, if it works correctly, I have to stop here. I have to be able to press a button. This is why I did it entirely with high-speed rail, because it's pretty much a vertical shot for me. Um, and now I am here. Yeah, yeah, things. Oh, hello, ceiling. Let's widen you a bit. There we go. Um, I don't know what I'm going to make the ender thing look like, or the nether hub look like. Uh, I do know I want an ender chest set up with minecarts in it, uh, at, in the front and the bottom, so that when you ride down, you break it, and you put it back in the chest so you can get on the other side, because I think that's a great idea. Useful for ender chests. Um, what's the sign say? Nether hub made by Dignity. Yes, he did in fact make it. Uh, I think I tossed him a little bit of resources, but not a lot. Um, the recharge station. Some generators and some furnaces. I think I'm gonna go grab uh, a bunch of blaze rods because I can afford that. Um, this is Dignity's path. Like, okay, so we got two expansion terminals. Right here. I can't navigate like this. Um, do not use this area. It will be used for future expansions. And I believe this one over here says the same thing. Um, but when you look at a map of stuff, I am... The best for me would have been this one. But I know that there's... Uh, um, the Doom lives down there. And so I gave him that one so I could take this one. It worked out fine for me. Dignity's best portal room would have been this one here. To do a diagonally this way and then jink over. This room here would have been best for Mitch and Bloody Ninja and also uh, uh, Noob Skills. All live over in that direction. We only have one guy who lives down here. So because he took that one, uh, I think Mitch is going to have to come over here to this one. Uh, and go up and sharp turn and over up top which is good because he's got kind of a high portal and then that one will probably be noob skills and that one will probably be uh do me um unless someone else comes on the server and does stuff first uh we will see i'm not sure but yeah i do like how you know it is a pretty clear design he is i think going to be filling all of this with glowstone which is a lot of glowstone um but it should get really bright in here, and that's really cool. Uh, so yeah, it's a good job. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed at um, him picking this one, but it's fine because he built it. I'm also a little bit annoyed that people banned from this line are the two people who live down that way. Uh, so that's really stupid. Uh, he also brings up this interesting point. Um, railroads are going to be off limits from pranks. Uh, portals are also going to be off limits for pranks. Mainly about the portals is because I'm the only person who knows what they're doing when setting them up. I've set up every single portal, uh, so far, I believe. Maybe one of the original ones wasn't, but I'm the guy who tends to link, uh, portals to places. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'm then gonna have to do stuff around here, like, fill in the floor. 
Um, have I shown you guys how to get to the end? If you come to my place, uh, and you walk through my portal, um, there is a long corridor. Like, I really should just make a ladder or something. But, uh, if you come down here, wasting all your health. I have to actually put in a rail line. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure I have odd symmetry here. Yeah, I do. Um. Yeah, I'll have to put in a rail line here. But, uh, yeah. This leads us right here to the end portal. Yep. As you can see, bam, you're totally in the fortress. You just do a quick jump there. And then you're in the end. Where you get to do all the fun end stuff of, like, dying repeatedly. Or killing endermans. I'm not actually going to be here. It's just a quick way to get home. Not really. It's not at all quick. But it's just a way to get home. There we go. Don't have a safe path to the exit. Um, so you probably don't want to come unless you have a jet pack. Uh, but yeah. Ender pearls are legit. I like them. Love my ender pearls. So that's the nether. That's the how do you get to the end. Uh, so thank you, um, Dignity, for making that for us. And thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Mad Mads Minecraft. Um, you guys stay online. I will see you next time.